I will just, uh, yeah, I, I think think you need also some workable practice. But I would just uh, mention a couple of things. So how, how you do um, Wartable is uh, you basically have the list menu on the left side. Yeah, yeah. I've actually played with Wartable before. OK. So basically, you, 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 you place, place your list there, and then you hit deploy, and it, and it deploys yeah. your whole complete list. I think you did it the hard way. Uh, I did, but it's because I'm not using, uh, I do the app on my phone, and I'm doing this through my computer. And yeah, I know, I know. It's uh, the how, how I do it is basically, um, I, will just load, I will just load up Wartable. And I will just send the list into our chat and, and then grab the list from there. Mm, that makes and, sense. Well, you, you can also just take Facebook Messenger or some, something and you can also make a chat to yourself or just take Gmail or an email, just send the list to yourself and then you grab it on your computer. It's, it's quite fast. Let me just uh, grab my lists. Uh, Sounds good. So yeah, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure I know all of the rules. So I think the, the thing that'll be the most helpful for me really will be just going at it. And then if I have any questions at any point, I'll probably ask you. Uh, and yeah, if I do yeah, something yeah, wrong, that. please let me know. All right, Oops, copy four. I, I think I'm, uh, I remember once most of them. I've played two games of Mark IV. Um, and then just an absolute ton of Mark three and two. Mm, that's good. That's good. But most of the things are the same, but some things are, yeah, some so, some things sure. have changed. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I've, I've played Mark four already a little. Mm. Some things are, are very different. Sprays are uh, a bit different. Let me just go into the chat here and grab that list. Because usually when you play your leagues, your lists are already in long shanks and then you just always copy them from there. So basically you put your list here, here. Um, now we'll just uh, do this and then uh, which size do you want to take? Mm, I guess we got to roll for it and then roll for first deploy, right? Yep. Let's do that. So on the right side, mm -hmm. you click this little dice icon and then... All right, got a uh, four. And, so then and then, and then you select, select your name uh, on the top. So every time you uh, do a, a dice roll, it will uh, mark it uh, as your dice roll in the sidebar. Uh, and that that helps. And then then when you roll, you just press one, two, three, four, and it rolls on, on a keyboard. It rolls that many dice. And if ah, you, and, and you press it with with shift. Oh, just a moment. Then it rolls, uh, and it add then it adds uh, damage to it, and also rolls the the column uh, that you need. So that that, mm. is, that is very helpful. So you just just go attack, damage, attack, damage. So yeah, not yeah, not, not, not at the same same convenient. time, but but it's very uh, it can make it very fast. And also, if you have a spray or or a, or a blast or everything, then then you can really differ, differentiate. Okay, these were the hit rows, and these are the damage rows. And then because uh, it can can get a bit confusing, but if you uh, Always do, just do it, and uh, yep, yeah. that's that, and uh, yeah. So all right. Uh, so let's see if we scroll uh, back. Let's see. Do I want to go first or second? I guess is the choice. Then you pick side. Right. Yep. I guess it's the other way around, but and uh, then I will. Uh, and first is that. the seven-inch deploy, and second is the ten-inch still, or is it eleven? Uh, no, it's it's changed in sim roller now. It's six-inch for the first player and uh, eleven inches for the second player. Oh wow! And, okay. Uh, and flags are now 
are different. Uh, it uh, flags are completely different. They are small 20 millimeter markers, and basically, after you uh, select your side, then uh, you can, uh, with the flag, you can pick uh, a terrain piece that is within five inches of that flag, and then you mark that terrain piece uh, with that flag. Uh, usually, in normal steamroller, only you only have one flag uh, per player. Uh, it, this brawl machine uses three flags, but the uh, principle is the same. We will all uh, place these flags on on a piece of terrain. If you cannot, uh, if there is no piece of, so of terrain within five inches of flag, the flag itself becomes a little obstruction. And okay. from, uh, and from that point on, how you do the flag terrain is basically you need two models, any two models, to be within two inches of it. And to contest it, you also need with, to be with at least one model within two inches of it. So any uh, so flags are special in that there is no model type defined. You just need to have two models. So sometimes it's easy to do because you have cheap models uh, just to stand on flags. Sometimes it's harder to do because you need to bring uh, some uh, more expensive models. Uh, so pick a side, and then we will move our flags, and then we can deploy our armies. Yeah, do we still start scoring at the end of the second player's second turn? That one is the same. It's the that same. Okay, is, cool. Uh, so that's, that's the that same. In that case, and... I think I will go... Let's see, you're shooting. I'm shooting a bit. Uh, six inches back. We're going to shoot. Uh, are we saying that... So these um, <clears throat> guys in the middle, the two buildings, are they... Uh, do they block line of sight, or what are we saying for the terrain here? Yeah, these two buildings here and and here are the buildings are infinitely high. They block line of sight. And then you have a rubble here that doesn't block line of sight. A shallow water here, and yeah. if, you long, if you long press with your mouse, it, it does this blink action. And then you have two craters. Craters are rough terrain and uh, cover and if you are uh, inside you gain a uh, blast resistance that's oh, minus cool. min minus one uh, die on the blast even uh, and it doesn't even check even if you are in the crater and you are directly hit and uh, the people standing next to you you'll still get some blast resistance it's currently like this uh it's it's not not like a uh, mark three when you need, need, needed to check the 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 center of the the template yeah it is way and, nice and, now. <laughs> well it's a bit more simpler so pick yeah, a side the left, uh, then the nicer as well but... yeah i think i'll take um i think i'll take uh or if i go First, so the way is either you pick a side or you go first, right? Is that different uh, now as well? And uh, no, if you pick a side, then you are player two. Okay, in that case, I. Uh, yeah, I think I won't pick us. I will pick a side. I'll take this side. I'll take this side. Bottom side, okay. Yep. Uh, if you uh, would like uh, to uh, deploy. Yeah, I would deploy with. Uh... Uh, just a moment. Um, uh, well, just a second. Uh, top. Deploy. Oh, okay. there they are. Yep. So, oh, so that, that that that's how I I would just move everyone up top, because I actually wanted to be on top, but I I'm not sure if I click the opposite thing uh, that I wanted or or the or war table took the opposite. Okay, now we'll just slowly move everyone up. Oh, oh yeah. If you move if you are moving units in deployment mode, uh, then if you double click them, then it selects the whole unit and it uh, it moves them just a moment. Mm -hmm. ah, crap. Is there a hotkey for saying yes, I'm okay with that movement? Uh, this oh, is deployment. In deployment right now. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way better. There are there are no uh, no lines now. Uh, and then then you yeah, can well. quickly. And when we are playing normal move, then then there will be a, a small uh, check mark if you are done. 
Yeah, yeah. Right. is there a hotkey for saying yes to the check mark, or do you just have to click it every time? You click it every time, and sometimes there was a hotkey uh, uh, above this little dice icon, uh, bottom right, and that one uh, you could uh, click, and and it would check all the movements when you were doing some crazy unit movement things, and you had a, a million uh, tr uh, lines, and then you could click, and then it would check them all. But I don't know if they removed it. We I, I will need to check when it's, when we start playing. Okay, uh, I would just deploy my. Oh uh, no, first, uh, first we will pick. Uh, I will pick my flags, uh, and move them to the area where they need to be. Oh, crap. Okay, we have some scatter gunners here. All right. Okay, let's see. So left side flag, um, you can put an aura on it to see where you need to pick. This flag will just move to that wall and then you can hit edit model and click pin so it doesn't move anymore. Middle flag, uh, aura size five. That one will go, let's see, aura size five. This flag will go to this water and this one will go to here and then pin and this one pins so you you also select your flag terrain that's within five inches of the flags and then you you yep. know so we'll where, do this. You, where this you need to move your and army. this mm -hmm. okay we'll go here here. Oh wow, these little effects icons are cute. Yeah, War Table is actually uh, oh, pretty fast. You know. Everything is pretty great on War Table. The only thing that is uh, hard to do is uh, placing models base to base. Uh, mm. I can uh, see that, right? Because they probably because if if really if you place it, it it will show a, a red X that shows that you are overlapping a model, and then you need to be careful. But there is just like always a pixel, so that that one is much slower if you want to do it co correctly. But okay. uh, other than that, uh, the, I think it's uh, faster than than. Than the normal, I don't know. So, uh, I I play a lot of war tables, so it's pretty uh, pretty easy for me now. But not everybody likes it. Um, I think it's at least in my experience, I like it in general. I think it's really good for war gaming. I mean, it makes it really specific and good, especially compared to. I played a lot of um, Warhammer, and there. I mean, we just use TTS usually, and it's a lot harder to move anything. The movement is way easier. Yeah, I saw, I saw the big some, difference, some, some TTS things. Yeah, uh, I think the difference is it's way prettier. War, War Table is not a pretty looking thing. I don't know. I, I, I like, the, uh, like the artworks for the models uh, a lot. So actually, when you, when you zoom in and then you see the artworks, I like that a lot. Uh, I guess I can see it. Have you? Do you play physically as well? I do, I do, but uh, uh, but uh, rarely. So I uh, play one or two games of War Table a week, so let's say, and then sometimes I go to an event and then I play the whole weekend or something, and then so it's. So I cannot get weekly games uh, in person, so it's much harder to do. Mm, uh, okay, yeah, it makes sense. So I, I, I'm keeping keeping my my knowledge and my le level somewhere uh, with, with playing War Table, and then 
when I can. Okay, I'm, I'm deployed, so you can uh, deploy at the 11 inch line. Okay, and this guy has that ambush, right? Yeah, that's Braylon, and she has advanced deployment and ambush. And uh, when the time comes, then uh, you can decide what to do, but uh, I, I will ambush her and because ambush is not, uh, uh, it's it's much uh, much uh, crappier than it was. You enter. Uh, uh, it used three to be inch three inches from the side it, of the board. It's three inches, but you you now need to sacrifice movement or action. So you either try to shoot someone who is near the board edge uh, without aiming, or, oh, or you just okay. or you just walk uh, walk in. But it's very uh, very good for. Um, contesting things and getting into the back line, but you cannot do the ambush like before that you plop down a unit and you go charging in or walking and shooting. So it's it's much more for just uh, contesting scenario pieces which are near the edge. That's very important because sometimes you just simply cannot go through the enemy lines to go that deep. That so, yeah. makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, let's think about what do you got where. Those are the scatter gunners. Those are the goes. Some good old scribes are sitting in the middle. The scribes, they have an eight area, right? Yeah, there it is. Uh, they have an eight now, yeah. and it's it's not not fury based anymore. It's just always on the armor aura, and if you have the attachment, then he can, he will just. Uh, Activate and, and 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 turn on certain effects for a round, but the aura is always active, always giving armor, and always eight inches. So it's pretty, it's pretty nice now. Uh, you don't need to feed it fury and uh, add fury and everything that was annoying before. Yeah, it feels like they really, I mean, just in general, kind of simplified stuff. Uh, yeah. Something is or is is more simple, and something will, for example, uh, Grizzel doesn't have uh, Falcos anymore. She has battle plans simply, and she just puts them out. And there is not this thing with with the Falcos, and the Falcos cannot double effect. There, she just puts it out, and that's it. I'm gonna go big to table it. Oh yeah, you, nothing's in range for a first turn on this game. <laughs> okay, cool. That yeah, looks no. good to me. Call it a deployment. Please come back a little. I think he's on okay. top of his base. There we go. Ah. All right. All right. Now uh, let's see, Braylon. Uh, I just need the deployment lens. Uh, oh. The bit. The Braylon. 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 Yeah, she will go. Uh, I will put place her here at the. Uh, she will go ambush. And uh, yeah, she will come in turn two and try to do things. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, good luck. Have fun. And then I will just uh, quickly show uh, you how it. Uh, now, what is very important your caster can now cast spells and run. So, because you cannot attack uh, friendly models anymore, you cannot charge friendly models anymore. So you don't need to do that, that charging your oh, own models uh, <laughs> things. Uh, so uh, she just you just cast your things and then you run run up. And uh, some casters are very uh, like that a lot. I just need to check my battle plans. Uh, okay, we have desperate pace. Uh, that one, that one, that one. Okay, Grizel will just cast. Uh, so if you if you click her, you click add effect at the right. Uh, what's it? Deflection. That's one, two, three, and then he will cast. Uh, Apollo the Avenger is for a cohort model, which are uh these. Uh, so for one, two. Is Hello the Avenger on this smaller? Okay, the little impaler. 
All yours. Oh, not the Impaler. The big guy. The big guy. And oh. then she just runs and run is now always your speed plus five. So not double speed, so she can run 11. She will go up there. Like that. Deflection. She has a 12-inch control. Which will go up to fourteen when my my room bearer runs after her. Okay, now this guy one two three fury will run. Oh, let's see here he runs ten. There and then the impaler. How much fury do I need? I need five. So for one two, he will also run for ten. There and then. Uh, Trokin sluggers are speed five. So they so now unit movement. You pick any model to move. You move that guy ten inches. But then the magic happens, and then you can place other guys in front of him, like so. Is it two inches right ahead? Two inches, edge to edge. So that's one thing, and then. We have the stone guys who are also speed five. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they can. They can. Uh, stone guys can pray for. Let me uh, for speed, so they will go uh, eleven. Let's see there. And then you just place the rest. There. There. So this 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 movement is much simplified. Uh, there and then uh, the cron uh, the room bearer is room bearer is speed six, so he will run eleven inches, and then because he is feeling five of Grizel, she will get plus two control. And then the scatter gunners will just run down. They are speed six. Yep. There. There. So on the table, that's this is pretty simple to do, um, and it's simple to do as well here. You just so the the units are much more clumped up, and now uh, whelps is simply run ten inches, run ten inches, and then these whelps will run ten inches here and ten inches there. Okay, I think I moved everyone everything up, so you go. All right, let's think about it. So, is it movement then action, or does it matter the order? In War Machine, it's always movement then action, uh, except if you have uh, a special rule uh, that lets you yeah. switch order, uh, I think. Uh, the skin and moans before had this bushwhack animus. Uh, they which, still do have that one. Which which lets you uh, let you lets you switch. So the caster could uh, let's say place up with the road markers and then, for example, shoot someone, cast bushwhack, and then walk uh, behind. Oh no no bushwhack! So bushwhack. Even in last or, edition, it's just that you get um, you can attack then move. That's the only difference for it. Lurker, Pathfinder, and Bushwhack can make its combat action before its normal movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, that's it, what it, it was. Let, 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 let you let you do either direction, but that's that's an animus for that guy and for your caster. Everyone right. else, pretty much. Five to do. here, and then my monkey's coming up. Oh, yeah, the monkey. Uh, yeah, yeah, the monkey is uh, solo now. They are not a unit anymore. Ah, okay. In that so case, they, he's they, doing normal, and we're just going to go desperate pace on the, the horses. Um, horses. Yeah, and they slayers. 
Yeah, they're yeah. gonna go seven then. Or they have six now. Speed, they have eight speed, now. Speed six base. We're gonna go eight. Yep. And just pop the rest of the gang within two inches. Yep. Uh, be careful because the now now the uh, the knockdown thing that thing works uh, in a way that the, the big horse will not get it, only the small one. Really? Yeah. Where does because, it? Oh, because let they, me read that then. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. So we need to keep oh, the big one. Oh, in this are knocked down. Yep. Ah. So because it was really? so oppre so oppressive that they you could not interact with them at all because you cannot target your own models anymore for placing any. AOEs or sprays or, or getting them. So they would just go up, lay down on the ground, and then charge 15 inches in, into you. So it was pretty bad. So yeah, that's means... kind of what I was uh, getting ready to do. <laughs> yeah, you can still still do that. Just, just uh, 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 so my, my sluggers are speed five, but they can get uh, be speed seven if I give, give them desperate pace with uh, Grizel. And then we All right, the, in that case, I'm going to back up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, not, not easy to kill that horse, but... Uh... There we go. So that puts you at a 17-inch total range, potentially. Yeah. But if I if I do... Okay. Uh... So that guy can move there we seven. Go. So only one ten, of them but... will get a shot in. But okay. the, two, the two other guys will get placed in front of him. Two inches plus plus a, th a forty millimeter base, so that's even even more. So, so these shooting units are very very high threat. So you need to be careful. I, I would suggest that you put the put put the big horse behind the uh, behind the cover, the wall, and uh, because if I can shoot him, uh, I don't know if you can get but the distance. You said but... Only one of them has the threat range from here, because that that would be uh, no. 17. Because it, if I if I move this guy up seven, then the yeah. re rest of the squad will, will be placed here. Oh, because the you new know? movement rules. Yeah. Right. That's, right. That, that's I the problem. That's then... so weird. Yeah. Okay. In that case, so yeah. Is... Let's do cover. Let's do that. I think huh. that's better. There we go. Then the you have deep That deepest... is. 17, I really... weird to think about. Yes, yes, this is a, a, a very much different because four charges, if you if you measure uh, the, the nearest guy who could charge you and if you stay outside of his threat range, then you are good. That's that's the same. Okay. But for, for shooting, we're gonna do the, the it's thing. very fast. Um, so we're going to knock him down still. But yep, sure. Uh, let's see, do they have that? No, nope, yeah, they, they got knocked down. There's knockdown. Yep, and they will stand up and everything. Okay, so that'll be done. Oh, there we go. Wow, that is so weird to think about. It's kind of cool. It's, it's tricky. It's, <laughs> it's tricky to think about. They are fast. Like, what does that even look shoot, like? Shooting unit threats really far, so you need to be careful. Yeah, now that they can... That'd be actually... God, it makes me kind of sad, because I, I used to love playing Signar. Um, but then I was kind of sad that they went just the electric route, just for now. And I, uh, I mean, obviously, there's still the grave diggers and stuff like that. I just kind of miss. Um, I gotta do what I'm doing actually. I get too carried away in this. Long uh, gunner, yeah, maybe. like long gunner play, and I guess that sort of thing. I miss a little bit, but on the units, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> like now, I think I I played against a guy who was doing that. I can decide what I'm actually moving. Um, who is doing that with his um, Widowmakers. It's kind of a tricky, kind of a cool play. Yeah, the Widowmakers, gonna... the, the, the new ones, or uh, the new new, new Kader Sharpshooters have a, a wolf in their unit. Who, I think it's speed seven or something. So that guy just uh, very much takes the unit pretty far, uh, turn one, and then they... There we go. Let's show control zone. Okay. So we'll do that then. We'll activate him. Oh, but that's nice. Now you can run the cast spells first. So yep. Kind of convenient. Um, do you know how to make cloud effects? No, I cannot make them. Cannot hmm. ignore them as well. 
No, no, no. I mean, do you know, do you know how to make them in? I, I apologize for that. In War Table, is it oh, add terrain? Uh, oh, there it no, is. It's add add, add, no, it's add widget, and there, then you have a three-inch ring. Ah, add widget. Oh, okay, perfect. Yep. Oh, three-inch ring. And, Three inch ring, and then you can uh, uh, make a text label on it and uh, pick a color for it and everything. So it's pretty cool. Oh, we'll call this a veil of mists. Yep. And you know what? What's mistier than dark brown? And now all, all, all of these all of these templates are three inch. There is no bigger template than three inch. Really? Yeah. That's yep. actually kind of a cool upgrade. I like that. So it's it's a simplified in that way. Mm, almost everything you have it has spray, so that's going to ignore concealment almost every well, time. Well, 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 the, the right side unit uh, shoots a normal uh, normal bullets, so it's concealment very much plays against them. They have uh, machine guns, but they shoot... Uh, uh... Mm, I see, I see. Okay. In that case, why don't we do that? Let's we just cast a little veil of mist to pick in this little hole. See if we can cover that up a little bit. That's kind of nice. Make it a little harder to see through. Yep. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to cast, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for some. Uh, Fog of War. Let's go for a yep. Fog of War. That's that's a good one, I think. Uh, add effect. See. Oh, they do have it. Wow, man, this thing's got everything. This is kind of sick. Um, yeah, and then yeah, I yeah, can it, do... it has it. Not every spell a... is in there. What's that? Not every spell is predefined, but uh, the more popular are, or sometimes you just type in the name and then you can add it. Uh, I'm going to yeah. take the Kravit Animus, so he can do his Animus, um, one Animus for free every turn. Yeah, that's a do dodge, right? Yep, evasive or something. Dodge, evasion. Yeah. Uh, it's not called Bullet Dodger, but I'll put that in there. It's not what it is. Yeah, the, yeah Bullet Dodger was plus two defense back in the day. Yeah. yeah no, this one will be the... Yeah, I think it's uh, on a missed hit, he and step or sidestep. The two in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we'll run. Woo! There we go. Let's. I guess I should actually really think about placement. Uh, uh, you you can run up. I don't really want to get blown off on the first turn. Is the thing. Well, about. it's hard to do. Because even if with, with unit movement, you could do, uh, for example, a unit movement like this and then place guys into the cloud, for example, and then, then shoot from there. So it's really, uh -huh. really anno annoying to get rid of it. But uh, Fog of War will keep you safe for the most part, I think. Let's go for it. All right, I think you'll be okay over there. Um, let's... Uh... Let's run the skin and moans. Get the skin and moans nice up and in there. There we go. Um, and then we're going to force the um, four skin and moans, but I have to do math. Sorry. So let's see. I need six fury, five at the end. So one, so we'll force him for one. There we go. <laughs> Get him nice and angry. Yep. All right. See, we're going to take the cockatrice. Let's give him a nice little run over here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the cockatrice as well. So he ran. He'll take a fury. All right, um, let's get the grave. Oh, the monkey. God, I forgot the monkey even exists now. That's so weird. Yep, it's um, a solo. <laughs> let's run the monkey. Woo! All right, monkey was easy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, 
and the grave ghoul has a new ability check it he can pass out corpses yeah he is so much don't... cooler now yeah they, he's very very strong he is but... so much... i was looking at my like even looking at 100 points there's no reason not to take like between two of that and the death knell you're on two toll full or like turn two full skin and bones almost like it's crazy it comes quick uh, but I will do that. So I, I, I think it's three. I'm within. Uh, I'm going to pass the corpse off. Yep. Uh, oh, wow. They even have a little corpse thing. God dang. This is cool. You're you're convincing me slowly. <laughs> it's, you just play play your games and then you are... Uh, and there are also a lot of... Uh, bottom left, they, there's a menu keyboard shortcuts and there is a bunch. Uh, I don't use most of them. But uh, yeah, there is uh, keyboard shortcuts for for adding um, fury and removing fury. And uh, at the beginning of the turn, there is a, there is this allocate side menu where you can just uh, uh, there it opens a windows where you where you see all the furies and focuses on your things, and you just click click click, uh, and then you don't need to click your models and search them on the board. So it's pretty wow, good. that's very cool. Um, quick question. Yes. <sighs> Gas or clouds. Do clouds give cover or concealment? They give concealment and only if you are uh, completely within. Okay. And, but uh, I, and, and that line of sight okay. is blocked from one side to the other. But if you are inside, then everyone can see you and you can see through the cloud uh, unlimited inches. Okay. In that case, uh, my frog has really nothing to to do. Um, yes. He just needs to be in within five. Perfect. He is. So he's gonna do that. Uh, and then we're going to woo, run the crabbit, and he wants to be within three of everything without himself getting shot to death. Not well, a crabbit. Is a shield guard. He needs to get shot. Yeah, but I like it when he gets shot when I want him to get shot. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice. Shoot, I should have read the monkey in reality. I read the monkey doesn't reanimate now. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I have to check. No more reanimating monkey. All right, I think that's it. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to force the crab at one. Oop, there we go. Then I'm at five, so I'll have full theory. Those guys are dialed. We got a spell. I think you're go. Oh, right. the road markers. I gotta place those. Yeah. The good thing is, uh, even if you, six of me, even if you forget the road markers, you can click. Uh, uh, we can, you can click the. It's completely within. I think you click your uh, your caster. You set your aura size to six, and then you can uh, place them within, uh, because I think they are not. Six from you, but completely within no, six. No, 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 no. Because they have to be totally within six. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. that, and let's toss another out here on the side. Boop. Like that. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Well, let's see. The problem is that I don't have Pathfinders on these sluggers. Uh, let me Who has check. Pathfinder for you? You don't mind me asking? <laughs> no, no, no one. Oh, okay, cool. It's all right. I think the uh, uh, no, no, Bra 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 uh, Braylon has. Braylon has. She will go, come in from the side and and do some things, but uh, she doesn't have it. Ah, that's okay. I think my only thing get Pathfinder really are uh, the chicken flies, and they get it on charge. So Nace Slayers have that. Um, relentless charge or whatever it's called. Okay, I will just do my fury and then I will deploy Braylon. Then yeah, sounds I, good. Uh, I will upkeep that one spell and now Braylon is coming here all over there. Uh, okay, see. come on uh, over. We are turning on deployment lines and because uh, it is within seven here, I think Braylon has a shot to, to do a shot. All right, uh, that's that. Uh, Fury is done. Upkeep is done. So let's see. Let's see if Raylan can can shoot your horsey. The little small guys. Sounds good. 
So Braylon has two two weapons. They are power sixteen, uh, power twelve, but she can do a double shot, and that will uh, do uh, a power sixteen shot. Now she's a rat seven, and you are a defense. Uh, I think thirteen fifteen, and I yeah, have a reroll. Fifteen right now. A reroll if if I miss. So let's do that. You uh, need an eight, right? Let's see it. I I need an eight with a reroll, and then. Let's see. First try. Bam. Miss. Second try. An eight. Ooh. Hit. 16, your armor right, is 16, you right? Uh, just let the... I need to roll a five. Uh, okay, I rolled a six. I ju I'm just checking uh, how much wounds do you have. Do you have eight? Cause the big... I have five. So I die. Okay. Uh, okay. Braylon, she's amazing. Yeah, the war horse wow. is five boxes. I, I, apologize. I think I misunderstood, honestly, your ambush. I thought she was on the side. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I just placed her there. She cannot come. Uh, turn ah, around. okay. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And now she has a run and gun. Uh, that uh, thing that when she shoots someone and kills someone, uh, can make a full advance, but... Uh, now that I shot and killed uh, one of your models, you you should check your Arcana. And yeah, check I'm going one. to use one of them. I just have to see which one I feel like. Probably the one that gives me stealth this turn. I'll take that. I think it's called Shroud. Yeah, and then you just you can just pull pull it next to your caster, so we know. Uh, then she will just. Uh, I think she's speed six. Yep, speed, uh, speed six, and then she will just uh, go there and try to try to make make you scared because she's a uh, a dangerous. All right. Ah, hold on one second. He was there. I believe I get a corpse on my grave guy. Yeah, I think so. He yeah. collects in oh, eight. Oh no, it's within there. five, not eight. Okay. Only five for collection, but eight for rerolls, right? Um. Okay. Now, let's see, a uh, clockatrice, if we move that guy there, six inches, then the rest of the unit could go, and then... Does and, he take and, fire and... damage then, for the fire right there? Uh, no, I get continuous effect fire, but only on the guy moving through it, so only on the officer. So let me check this one. I think that's possible, but they need to get buffed first for with Grizel for them to be... Uh, good. So go. Okay. Uh, moving the stone. The stone will just uh, go here, and then what? What will they pray for? They will say uh, plus one speed uh, for for everyone. I think that's not only for Nordkin. No. 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 This is the other stone. Crap. Um, we will say uh, combat warding simply. Uh, that means no continuous okay. effect. Uh, because I, I I played with the other uh, other attachment in my other list. That's the Storm of the North uh, Army, and then they have uh, other effects on that attachment. All right, this is the this is the classic stone. Nothing fancy, just no continuous effects. Good. Now Grizel needs to walk down left, and then sixteen inches. Sixteen. If he walks here. With six, can she? Uh, maybe. Okay, so she walks here with six, twelve inches. Yeah, let's let's try that. Okay. But yeah. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> let's see. The cover here is not there, so maybe. But that guy always has cover, Malady man. Right? That's Who? not half. Malady Man always has cover, right? He, he, yeah, because he, yeah, he's got his cart thing. Yeah, that's crap. And you, but you have stealth now, right? Stealth, but I have sprays. That's fine. Yeah, Grizel will just do her feet. And then she can uh, use uh, three times her uh, battle plans and uh, desperate pace. Uh, money shot and tenacity become range 12 disactivation. So she will go. She will cast. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. She will cast deflection again. 
then she will give money shot to this unit uh, on the left. Then she will cast. Uh, she will do. Uh, she will do cacophony on herself. Uh, then and we will desperate pace. Uh, sorry, am I f okay? And she will also get give this desperate pace to this unit, and then she will uh, end activation there. I think that's good enough. And then these dudes will just uh, walk, and they can now walk eight inches uh, to here. Like this, this guy will have a fire because he walked through, but the rest are not affected because they just simply teleported there and they don't actually walk through. This is the, the standard, huh? Ah, I forgot that thing. it works that way. So they also don't have to pay to come over the wall then. No, uh, well, this is huh. just a normal walk, so it would be free in Mark 3 as well. But uh, I forgot one thing, and that is... Uh... Well, uh, normally you would, in Mark III, you would lose, without Pathfinder, you would lose uh, distance for going over no. walls. No, 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 no. Uh, that was never never a rule. In Mark III, you just could not charge over, over walls without Pathfinder. And now there are defense walls in Mark IV. Those are special walls, and they uh, they take away your speed. Okay, now uh, we are here, and now we will do a bunch of sprays. Uh, let's see our rat. Um, I think the standard bearer gives me inspiration plus one to the attack rolls, and that's pretty much it. So the officer is rat six, goes to rat seven, and these dudes are rat five, and they go to six. Yeah, I fucked up because the Grizel has a spray, and uh, a sprays can now be extended with snipe, and that, and that's why I measured that thing, but I then I forgot to spray you because she got um, a spray that gives you minus two defense. But mm. no matter, I will just do a bunch of shots here, and it's, we will see how it goes. So the the let let's start with the with the, with the officer because he's uh, good like that. Uh, six rat seven hits on a six against you. Uh, hits. Who are you? Who are you shooting? A uh, cockatrice. Oh, cockatrice. Uh, that'll miss then. Oh no, that's a ten. What's your six? My rat is seven. That will and hit I, then. And, and these are these are sprays, so I ignore stealth and I ignore uh, your concealment. So that hits, okay. uh, power is 12, but because money shots is 14, nice. so it's minus four, uh, two to the six. Can and they get uh, both the abilities? I thought you could only be affected by ability nope. once per. Nope. They can, they can get multiple because it doesn't say that you don't. Uh... So normally, uh, Gr uh, Grizel can only use one battle plan per activation. And uh, and then on on her fifth turn she can use three. It's and it, uh, as far as I can see, uh, there is no limitation. Okay. Uh, like, and that'll be uh, two damage to the six. Two damage to the six, and then number three will shoot it. Uh, it needs um, a seven. It hits a seven of four. Two points to the one. And one uh, uh, one good way to mark damage uh, if, is when you click a clockatrice, uh, you press the minus key, and then you get a, a little window, and then you type in how much damage, press enter, then type it which column, and then it and it marks it. For these small damages, it's not that important, but if you get 10 damage and, and 15 damage, then it uh, very nicely fills up your boxes. Okay. So two got shots, four shots left. Number one guy uh, miss uh, uh, rows of four and uh, uh, oh miss! I'm going to use one of the arcanas. Yep. Uh, fortune's path. Next turn I get plus one to hit and plus one to damage rolls. Okay. Damn it. 
let's see. Let's see, that is uh, clone cards. I also need to check them because I, I really need to. I have the Grim King army, so. Friend of the game, Grim King model. That's right. So you use your two this turn. Uh, okay, that misses, and I have three left. Number five tries it, misses. Uh, number two tries it, misses. Number four tries it, misses. And that's it. Okay. That's it for that unit. Unfortunately, they did not make themselves famous this turn. Uh, these guys were just... So you have a flag there, a flag there. Well, they would just run and go here uh, like this. Like this and this. Okay. And then these two whelps will go to this thing here and here. Uh, this guy will just run for one, two. One somewhere here mm. uh, do your uh, horses have rise also without the big guy no they don't so they are basically useless without the big guy okay then uh, because the big guy gives them rise as well right yep, uh, yep. I, uh, I gotta be honest I probably wouldn't have taken them I'm realizing if they don't get the safety for the big guy anymore <laughs> Uh, they are still very, very good. You just really need to be careful. Uh, um, and then the Impaler, how much Fury on her? Two, I need four. Impaler will just pop two Fury on himself and, and run here because he doesn't have anything good to do. No, actually, I would go eight inches here across this water. And then this room bearer will just come here. And then these whelps. Go just to run here, and uh, well, well, they will double score that uh, scenario elements, that wall and that house. Two of them can double score it, and these these guys can score it. Okay, that's my turn, and it's over to you. And you can okay. take your revenge, and you have plus one, plus one. That's right. Um, Let's see what we got here then. Um, Fury, go back to full. We have. Uh, do I want to upkeep? I do get one upkeep for free. Mm -hmm. if I want it. Yeah, one upkeep yeah, for yeah, if free. The, if, if the frog is near, near enough, then you get it. Yep, he's That's five. Pretty, That's a pretty good deal. So we'll yeah, take that. And then I don't think I'm going to upkeep the veil of mist. I don't think we really need that right now. Hmm. I don't know. Do I have anything better to do? Maybe that's the question. I don't know. It's not really a much better to do. Yeah, we'll upkeep it. Why not? Okay. Uh, Quay, so upkeeps are done. Fury goes to zero on everything. Whew. Let us see what we got. Are you normally playing trolls when you play? No. No, the tro trolls are uh, my old army that I played in Mark II. And now I'm relearning them, but I'm, I'm very rusty with them. I played Infernals for two years now. I played Grimkin before that uh, in Mark Three. Infernals? How did you like playing Infernals? They seem so cool. They are good. They are good. Just the Colossals are uh, almost impossible to get. Or maybe maybe there is a solution now with some 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 three D printing uh, things. But yeah, they are they are nice. They are good. I, I like them very much. I did not do good with them with at, at this WTC. I went one and four, but but it's not because of the army, it's because of my 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 bad play. Oh no, what happened? Well, I don't know. I, I played really, oh. really badly. But I, I had COVID, so I, I will blame it on that. Uh you know? That uh, that could do it. All right. Um, charging has to be a straight line, right? Yep. Okay. Do you, uh, so Monkey. veil of mist is upkept, and yeah. uh, but you can you can see through that with your own models, so that's good. 
Yep, and I gotta move the road guys. I could teleport to a road marker, but I don't really want to drop my caster in the middle. Um, <laughs> I don't think that would do me favors if I were to do well, that. Well, you can <laughs> teleport there, take take your spray, uh, tag something because the spray gives you uh, extra range and uh, on your charges, and then just use boost whack and walk back, and then you are safe. Oh. You know, that's a smart idea. Let's do that. For example, for example, you can do that. You just cannot aim because if you aim, then you cannot walk anymore. But without walking, right. you have a rat, a rat seven, you can tag someone with this uh, thing and, and then cast bushwalk for free, basically. And then just walk back and walk into cover or somewhere. Cast your, uh, uh, what's that? It's, uh, Starcross, that's, what, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to cast Starcross. So let's start with my caster then. Um, we'll cast Starcross to start. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll put me at two fury. Uh, I lose my bullet dodger. I'll take bushwhack. So I get to yep. shoot first and then move. And then let's... What are we going to do this to? Um... He... Oh. oh! I guess we could try for it. My chance of killing him is probably not very high. So it's probably not too good of an idea. <laughs> the mauler? Uh, yeah, the mauler. I think I could kill him. Yeah, I would... I would uh, I, you just need to check if you put a two-inch aura on it. Yeah, there, is exactly. a, there is a spot between those two. Um, oh, I guess you're right. I could get the you could skin st there. stand there, and I think you can then charge ten inches, or ten inches between us. So you can uh, Skinamon needs to use his animals to get the Pathfinder, but you just or or um, or if I, I do do the beacon on it, I get plus two inches. That should be enough to go over the terrain, even without animus, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, right? If you, uh, you, know, you can, you can proxy it out uh, simply if you say. Oh, that's eight, right. Eight inch charge there, and it's perfectly there. Let's see. Okay, so I could do it if I just get the beacon. So I'll, I'll try it for the beacon shot on him. Let's do it. Yeah, you hit on a five, so it's risky, but but you can do it. I believe in you. Thanks. I appreciate it. We'll see what happens. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, the Wanderer is really good. I, I really like playing him. Yeah, I like his his movement tricks are kind of fun. I always kind of like now, that. Now, uh, yeah, now let's the... go for it. So we're going to spray the Mauler, Oops, sorry, which will hit the Mauler and probably just one guy in the middle. Yeah, number one. Okay, uh, 2d6, I'm at rat 7, I need a 5 to hit, you said? You're at a 12? Yeah, 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 12. And, and uh, We got actually, it. You need a 4 because you are plus 1, plus 1. Uh, oh, actually, that's true. If, if you click uh, your molar, and then, uh, molar uh, your caster, and I say add widget, you can add a laser, for example, for sprays, and then you just rotate the end, and then you can... Ah! Uh, that's or... awesome! <laughs> or even better, there is the widget, uh, which is the, called the ruler, and the ruler That's is great. Now That's you can do, okay. do it like this, and if you click a model and click, then that it will pivot around that model, um, because if you click on it and move it, then it's gone. So then you then it's bad, but you just delete it, click any model that wants to spray, and then it will always. Uh, Put it in the right spot, and then it will rotate around that model. Right. Perfect. Uh, uh, let me roll for the sluggers so, now. Uh, what does the sluggers have for death? Twelve. Uh, then we hit them too. So this guy in the front is flared, and the mauler is flared. Yep. Um. Quick question: Do these scatter gunners have um, shoot in melee? Yeah, they have. I think they have pistol on their. Thing, so oh gunslinger right that's what it's called uh, no it's called uh, cold pistol and it's on the weapon it's a pistol uh, icon oh. on the weapon pointing right that that means that you don't get uh, if you are shooting things that are 
engaging you or you are engaging them, then there is no plus four defense. And there is gunfighter now. That one is on your main profile. There is very okay. rare in the game. That means that you can shoot out uh, outside of combat if you are engaged. But very, uh, very little, uh, very few models have that now. But before Got that, it. even colossals uh, usually don't have that thing anymore. So if you are engaging a colossal and fighting, he cannot shoot outside of combat, and uh, that's very. Very different to Mark III, where Colossus could shoot out, just walk up anywhere, and then just shoot you. Now they cannot, if they don't have that icon. All right, player is there. Okay. Uh, yep. And then we are going to back up like a coward. R six. I think that's all right. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I have to actually think about command zones. Because yeah, I, mean, I want the cockatrice to be able to do stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll do it like that. Might be a little risky, but... Well, I guess I actually want the objective. I have to think about. Hmm. Let's do that. Okay, so he's placed. Uh, we're going to activate next the Grave Ghoul. Okay. Uh, Grave Ghoul's got a five inch move. We're going to kind of let him be a coward over here. Oh, do his thing. Uh, and he's basically just here. I just need to be within two inches of it, right? Of the terrain. Oh, the flat thing. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to have him feed a corpse to our friend in and bones here. I think you can only give cor corpses to people who don't have corpses. I think there is a limitation. Ah, I thought it was you could only do it one per, but maybe you're right. Let me uh, check. Those... Oh, does not have any. Ah, okay. Then I'm going to give himself the corpse token. Yep. yep. Should okay. be fine. It's limited, but it's very nice still. Just, you can in that just... case, we're going to actually keep him with. So, but for example, you can, or, you can always, if you have dread rots, you can give corpses to dread rots, and then the skin amounts can just pick it up of them. Uh, so you need you, you need a need, need a middleman uh, to to do work the paper trail, and then then it's good. <laughs> so so you can yeah. use the dread dread rots like that. All right, uh, then I'm going to go for the, let's see my guys over here that have to stand up. So they're going to stand up. Mm -hmm. And then all they get is a normal movement after standing up. Yeah. Uh, unless my malady man can make them stand up, can he? No, no he can't. Okay. Uh, then we're going to just stand up and do a normal movement. Back up a little bit. And I can just do this. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. The monkey cannot cut across the building. No, but okay. you can go through models. That's true. Ah, okay. Then we're going to go uh, Malady Man next. Uh, and we're going to move ourselves a little closer here. Mm -hmm. um, and then he needs to have an 8-inch for the monkey ability. Oh, perfect. So look at it like that. Uh, and he's going to make the monkey go crazy with yeah, the something with you. Uh, question, does the Wanderer have Fog of War or uh, does he have Star Cross? Both. Both? Okay. Just Fog of War, Star Cross. 
Because Fog of War is a duration and Starcross is not an upkeep. Oh, Fog of War is an upkeep, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so let's run the monkey. Okay. Uh, oh, no, the monkey can't make the charge anyway, though. Out there. Yeah, he, he can charge Braylon, maybe. Uh -uh, no, he's actually out on that anyway. Well, if um, you give him desperate pace, he could. No, but then he, uh, he the, then the monkey doesn't go crazy, and he will he will miss. Yeah, uh, probably would miss. You know what? Let's try it anyway. Yeah, we'll desperate pace him, uh, and right. we'll sprint. Oh. All right. Uh, and let's attack. So, what is your death? Well, I have a fourteen with dodge. So on a nine. Oh, you have dodge. Yep. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Then we're actually okay with the monkey hanging back. That's all right. That's right. <laughs> monkey's, That's all right. Monkey's gonna hang back. I'd rather not give you the dodge movement. Okay. Oh, and, uh, and the Nayslayers have their reach all the time now. They don't have the stupid lands rule anymore. Oh, so thank God. Are... That was such a stupid rule. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very stupid rule. <laughs> okay. Small base. Uh, you're trolls. You're on medium bases, right? I think I don't. No, the whelps up the, up there have small bases. Okay. Those four. It's all your big guys. Okay, I'm actually. You don't really have upkeep spells on anything. So yeah, we're not really gonna do much with um him. What's he got? He has to get plus one to hit. It's kinda cool. I don't think his melee is very good, really. Uh what's the defense on these scattergun guys over here? Uh mighty twelve. Twelve, okay. Um in that case I'm going to Oh, this is my second turn, so I actually have to think about points. <laughs> yes. Uh, so we're actually going to jump him just closer. So he's within five. So I do get the ability. There we go. We'll take it like that. Okay. He has, uh, and then he's he actually has be... Farley ability, but uh, I need to check how it works. Uh, it's uh, melee. It's you're within five, I believe, right? Cannot target this model. Oh, with attacks. Oh, no, but while within five, enemy has to be within five. Okay. That's not doing a ton for me. Um, oh, this model, yeah, enemy warrior cannot target this or the leader. That's still pretty good, but yeah. Uh -huh. Let's uh, get the cockatrice going. Actually, let's start with my uh, boy, the skin and bones. So we're going to mm -hmm. charge. Whee! Get me right in there. Yep. Uh, don't have to pay for the charge because yep. of the flare. Uh, and then let's... Let's actually think about this really quick. Mm, what does a Dire Troll's abilities look like? The Dire Troll's health and armor look like. He does get plus two to armor right now. He does. He will be armor 20, and you will be a 16, um, plus one corpse, plus one arcana. You will so be a minus 18. two. Uh, dice minus two. But you yeah, hit 30 me really health. easily. Yeah, let's give it a go then. Okay, uh, let's swing. Yeah. Uh, so first to hit, uh, yes. we got it with an 11. Yeah, off two. And then shift, uh, this is boosted because of charge. 
14 okay. to the 3, so minus 2, so 12 to the 3. Yeah, so I press minus, I enter 12, enter uh, 3, and it marks it uh, immediately. And uh, you, you see he it shows a oh, small oh, I, so I, 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 icon that the body is out. Yep. What does body do again? Uh, it's minus one to damage rolls if it's lost. Oh wow! Okay, so it's a lot less crippling than it was. That's no, good. it's it, no, it's the same. Body is damage is rolls, it? mind is attack rolls, and spirit is that you cannot boost. I cannot uh, spend fury. So I thought the, the movement was also death five though. Maybe not though. Maybe no, no, Warbeast ne ne never lose uh, defense. That's only on mm. Warjack. But uh... okay. Uh, let's swing with the second hit then. Okay. Uh, we mm -hmm. might hit with a four. I've got. You will hit. I'm defense. Death. I'm defense ten. You are mat eight, okay. so you only miss on snake eyes. So three uh, to the one. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, let's go for a, one extra hit. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you sorry, it's hit. a seven to hit, and then yeah, uh, six. So six damage to the six. Six to the six. Nine left. Uh, let's do it again. Hits and five, five to the. Do it again. Go uh, for uh, which oh, column? We miss. Uh, which column do you do? Uh, uh, did you do uh, it before? That was to the six. Okay. Um, I, when I'm entering the, the, I cannot see the the log. Okay. You, oh, okay. No, yeah, no you, uh, you, no, you, you don't. One. You you don't miss on on a three. I have a flare, and you have plus oh, one. Oh, a... shoot. Sorry, I forgot about the flare. You're totally right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. You are playing a good faction. Uh, so... Five more damage. We'll kill you. Yep. He dies. And then I will... I get a corpse. It's kind of cool. Yep. Um, and then let's... Yeah, let's go for the next hit, too. I'll take it. We'll go all out. Uh, let's kill one of these. Or let's try to kill the guy that's flared here, the slugger. Yep. So the building is between uh, hit us, on a but, six? Uh, but you you still hit. And um, I think you just yeah. roll tough on it. I think I have enough damage. Yeah, because you have a 16, 17, 19. I have a 15, 17. No, you actually uh, don't kill on snake eyes. Oh, OK. Uh, no snake eyes. Oh, uh, try a tough oh. one. He dies, and you get one more corpse. OK. Thanks so much. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I realize I'm getting mixed up. I think the problem is I'm getting a lot mixed up from... I, I think I, I said it earlier. I played a ton of Warhammer recently, so I think all my rules are just like a mess right now. Well, it's not that similar, but maybe there is something else that you are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Um, let's start with the Cockatrice, then. Okay. Uh, does the, oh, the Cockatrice does have dual attack. I can do both. Yeah, most models have dual attack. Almost every every model that has a gun can also... Can you still do it shoot. if you charge as well? Yeah, and you can okay. even do a charge and do do your sh a shot before you, your initial melee, so you can uh, apply that debuff. Perfect. So there is In no, case, no, let's... no more assault like, like there was before. So no, um, nothing on a, nothing on a failed charge. Heal yep. my chicken, so a D3. Uh, oh, so yeah, that, 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 three. That, that is uh, happening uh, too. So all that hard work I did is for nothing. No, I, I, uh, I messed up. Then... I should have uh, sprayed it with Grizzel. That gives it minus two defense, so it would be a bit more damage. Right. Uh, we're going to charge like this. Actually, you don't need to charge... Unless you have a free charge because uh, your damage is high enough to auto kill these guys. Oh, sorry, so you really... I forgot you don't need to charge. I again, yeah. that's a that's a warhammer thing. So yeah, yeah, they, 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 they always do a charge to get into melee. I remember, otherwise you just walk and shoot. <laughs> uh, that, exactly. that, that is uh, that is I... the one thing I remember from back in the day. But that was. Can 14, I get fourteen years ago? Can I get all of these guys? In... No, only the first two, really. Okay, you have reach, fine. and then you have a spray that could uh, that you could uh, find a nice line for. That's what I'm trying to think. I think this is going to be my best line, and then make it 
Mm. Well, can I fit here? No, I can't. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I do want to stay within two inches of the objective, so I do contest it. So yeah, let's do, I think that's going to be the best. We're going to do this here. Right. Um, that way okay. I stay in my control zone. And then we're going to spray to start. We'll spray the guy in the back. Mm, well, you cannot see the guy in the back, but you can see number five. So that's good. I thought, uh, sorry, my mistake. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. But that's-, that's I have eyeless sight, right? No, nah, that, that, that's here. That's oh, only for it's... clouds. But okay. uh, but uh, uh, if you spray number five, that will give you the same line, and then you can still hit the guy in the back, pretty much. So you click your clockatrice, you add the ruler, and then you just uh, go to the center of number five, and that will give you a nice line, which will go through oh, probably I see what you num mean. number one, yeah. number five, and uh, but click your clockatrice before oh. you click click add ruler. And then it will be uh, that the ruler will then start from your clockatrice. Ah, and, okay. Like that. How do you move the ruler? Oh, how do you uh, move the ruler? You need to zoom out. And then at the end of the ruler, there is this little, you can delete this mm. one. You, you cannot get it back on. <laughs> uh, oh. Just delete this ruler, click your clockatrice, and click Add Ruler again. And then uh, at the end of the ruler, there is a little box. And if you click that, then you are rotating it. Oh, and now it's not on the clockatrice. No, right, no, you need to select again. your clockatrice and then uh, add yeah. widget. There we go. And at the very end, and then you can ro uh, pivot it around. Yeah. I like think I popped that, these three. Yeah, yeah, that's three models. You have a pistol on your spray. So even if you are engaging uh, one, uh, one and five, yeah, they, they will not get plus defense. Then you uh, they are uh, you are rat six, you are rat seven with the arcana, and they are yes. defense twelve. So you hit on fives. No, actually it's it's harder because I have uh, deflection up. So they yes, are plus two death. Well, against shooting, but against melee they don't have anything. Okay. So that's good. Uh, let's do it then. Um, we'll start with the roll on the scatter gunner in the back. Uh, we hit. Yep. Uh, what's the let's see? Damage is going to be a thirteen on this. So thirteen. I'm uh, a fourteen. I'm a sixteen minus three. That's three damage for him. Okay. Uh, and you are within the grave ghoul's range, eight. So if you want, you can reroll that if you want to maybe kill him and. Uh, Oh, spend that yeah, part. I will. Let's so that, that, that's the Grave Ghouls. So you can just, yeah, you can see. You just, I will try a tough check. Nope. The, the guy in the back. Wow, so that Grave Ghoul is great. That's a really cool yeah. ability. You can rename him Grave okay. Ghoul. <laughs> that was good. Uh, let's roll the hit five. Uh, we miss. I think you miss, right? Because of deflection. I'm at 11. Rat, but yep. I think you're at 14 with deflection. Yep, yep, yep. That's it. And then let's roll for the number one. Uh, we definitely hit. Hit. Uh, and and give me a tough check are... on one. No, uh, I am armor uh, on that. Uh, 14, 16. You are 13. Uh, stake eyes. Uh, you need a four to uh, force, force a tough check. I rolled eight damage. Ah, okay. I did not see it. Okay. Uh, oh, top once. Woohoo! Okay, uh, then I'll do my melee hits. Mm -hmm. um, let's do our first against the scatter gunner up top. Then that'll be the initial. So uh, you are see. at six, seven, a bit with the arcana on fives. Okay, uh, we hit once, and then this is yep. boosted damage for the charge. Yep. Yeah, yeah, this is charge uh, thirteen. Yeah, yeah, that that forces of touch check. Oh, tough. One more. Uh, okay, we'll do our. Another claw then into this guy. It should auto hit because you're knocked down. Uh, so then number two or number one? Uh, number. Let's do number two first. I have two claws. That guy dies because you cannot uh, tough anymore with uh, if you are knocked down. Okay. And then I will use my next attack on the other scatter gunner. My third. Sure. Uh, number one or uh, they, they are number all, one. All, 
they have numbers on them if you zoom in and then you can just say which number are you hitting yeah number one okay then uh, that one will uh it's a power 14 power 15 i'm a 16 but you oh you know it's, even with snake eyes you auto kill good number one is gone okay nothing good. else is in melee uh, you so, have a two inch uh, melee uh, as well. It says one inch on the app. One inch, now. one inch, and you have a tail which is two inch. Uh, the tail is one inch on the app. What? What? <laughs> yeah. they, nerfed, they, they nerfed the. Oh, it's thing? a chain weapon. Do chain weapons happen to gain a bonus now? No, 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 no. no? The chain, no, chain that's weapons. For shields are, and stuff still. Ignore shields, but did they reduce the, the, the yeah. tail from two inch? That's why I was being careful with measuring. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is a crabbit. This is not a cockroach. No, no, they really reduced it. Okay. Um, I am going to use my animus though. Let's uh, time lock. You, you cannot because you are in cacophony range of, of from Grizel. So, oh, am I? Oh, yep, okay. Ten, ten That's inches. Cacophony so. range on her. Ten, ten inches. Yep. Okay. Uh, then in that case. Cockatrice, let's see, I've got four over here cooking. I can steal if I take it. That's enough. That should be fine. Uh, I guess the Cockatrice is doing his thing. He's done. Um, okay. All that we've got left is a sweet little crabbit. Yeah, and, and you did not even uh, need to uh, spend any fury. You just, the, the, yeah, spray and then three initials, and it was nice. One inch on the tail. That's insane. <laughs> but it used to be two. To be yeah, two. yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Wait, we're gonna jump my little Kravit to do exactly this, so he's in range. Okay, looks good to me. All uh, right. I believe I score then one yep. two. You score two, and I will score one two three. So at least that's. Uh... That's an advantage. I would just move ah, you things. score as well on my turn. Oh, okay, cool. Everyone scores. Uh, I, I think that was something uh, that's good to know. I think I was getting that mixed up again with uh, in Warhammer. You only score on your turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need to contest. It doesn't your... make a difference. I I can't do anything there anyway. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I I try to push the battle lines uh, very much, even if even if it's. Uh, a dangerous position. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, no fire, no nothing. Uh, I will just. Oh, yeah, one, two. Okay, six. I forgot to take the fury from the molar, but yeah. Now I took it. Good. Now let's see. Uh, no deflection, no cacophony. Braylon, Braylon needs to needs to be smart here. So basically, uh, you have star cross, but I can aim, and these little punks are now not there. Good. Uh, Braylon stands sends an aim to Rat Nine, so she negates the the concealment, and she tries to kill two of these little dudes. So uh, I will shoot this one here. That hit. Where's Braylon uh, shooting? I'm sorry, I, I can't see what you're shooting at. What are you shooting at? Uh, I, I, I pulled this little model to the side. Oh, that one, that... Braylon here. Ah, sorry. I, yeah. I, I thought Braylon was your caster. She's just no, out. No. Okay, yeah, it's good. Um, You do have to roll three dice and take the two lowest. Uh, you okay. are within yeah, Starcraft. I, I, ro I rolled six, four, and I roll another six. That's amazing. Oh, so okay. I still hit. And yeah, then so the power. Dead. Probably. But no, I'm 12. You are 14. So let's see if oh. it's not not Snake Eyes. It's not Snake okay. Eyes. Haha. <laughs> ha. Bam. <laughs> uh, ch check uh, your corpse collection, but I think it's too far. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. I've got five on that. So here, that's okay. Far. That's nice. Uh, and we will take another shot uh, against this guy here. Let's see. Three okay. Dice. But I still so like nine, a champion. And and uh, let's see, not snake eyes. No, she kills. Okay. And then Woo. she will just. Uh, with that uh, to hit. Um, is that with concealment as well? 
Yeah, because I'm aiming to nine, and you have uh, plus two, so I, I, I'm, I'm looking for sixes. Okay, uh, uh, I'm with... gonna use one of my uh, command cards. I Again, Arcana. Okay, which one? Yeah, we're gonna Arcana. Mm -hmm. Um, where is it? Um, ill omens. There it is. Everybody gets minus one to hit and damage rolls. Oh, I hate that one. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, ill omens. Well, cards. Ill omens. You need to oh, lose a, shoot, a warrior. I have to place these guys. Oh yeah, put them sure. like that. Play this enemy models, a friendly green king for warrior model. Yeah, that's that's a trigger, but it's still still good to kill these naysayers because they are really scary. So you have concealment up. Mm -hmm. Problem is that how are we gonna damage the skinemons? Skinemons is now. Uh, armor basically 20 with uh, this thing, and our our strength is not that high. I do kind of miss, if I'm being honest. That was at 100 points. I realized at 50, you just can't take the death knell. <laughs> like it won't even let you take the death. Knell. Well, no, and and th th these are brawl machine lists because uh, a Swedish guy is actually reworking brawl machine uh, to be a very nice little format. So you actually, actually, I think you have a brawl machine uh, legal list because it's FA one for everything. Oh, uh, I like and, that. Uh, FA one for everything is awesome. And then, and then, no, no, eighties, no, hundred twenty millimeters are allowed. So it's a, it's a, it's a casual format for beginners. So the, the this oh, is right. my list for Bro Machine, and now, now there are some leagues that are being organized uh, for Bro Bro Machine just to get it. Uh, and some models are banned, but not many uh, that are too too strong for a small point game. Is there is there a, a limit on how many of my arcanas I can use in one turn, or can I just use them all? I, uh, you if cannot use them all because they are now uh, command cards, and the command cards have a limit of two per turn. Per turn or per round? Per per turn. Per turn. So, you, so okay. if, if cool. uh, sometimes, um, um, I guess they're always in your turn anyway. <laughs> if if you listen to, listen to Corey Doyle on the Canadian podcast, uh, okay, he, he says that he he sometimes uh, um, went into the enemy. The enemy had a defensive strike or something like that. He killed one of his dudes, and then he could pop uh, Arcana on the on his own turn as well. So that was pretty good, um, or or something like that. You need to uh, check the interactions which Arcana. Uh, but sometimes the opponent has a reaction, a, a a a punch or a shot or something, and if he misses you, then you can trigger. Uh, some some things on your opponent's turns are pretty nice. Okay, so the clockatrice is not engaged, but how are we gonna damage it and what we're gonna do with the skin and moans? That's uh, uh, that's pretty much unkillable for this list now because mm, yeah, that is bad and he is engaged. Yeah, we will try to kill the clockatrice. I don't think we can do it, but we will try. All right, Grizzel. You know what? Grizel will just uh, do money shot on herself. She will just okay. move, he move here to have a nice line uh, to the cockatrice. And, uh, and then uh, with money shot, she will just do a spray on the cockatrice. Uh, the cockatrice is now the effective defense 14. Uh, yeah. Yep, with plus one. That is scary. Oh, so I guess minus one, one, but plus one. Yeah. I'm a rat seven, so a seven definitely we need to boost it. Let's see. Yeah, actually, I know I'm a nine because of money shot. And now uh, this is a spray. That was definitely hit. <laughs> yep. This is a spray 12, a spray 14, and you are a 20. No, you are a 19. So. Yep. Minus five, so it will boost the, the damage and it's dice minus five. We are rolling like I think nine to six, great. and that will uh, also okay, not. Okay, so minus you said you can yep. press minus click the clockatrice, press some How minus. How many health? Uh, nine, nine health. Yep. The six. Oh, six. that's 
really convenient. Uh, Holy heck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Uh, I think I need to reload because I have reload. I spend a fury to reload, spend a fury to boost. Uh, we will hit and then we will spend a fury to boost damage. It's minus five. Uh, that's so that'll be eight. To the two. Do you lose an aspect? That's the question. Eight to the two. Uh, I yep. do, and then I get to teleport. Yep. Um, three inches. Yep. Let's. Actually, honestly, the kind of happy where he is right now. He doesn't leave nine left. It's kind of dangerous. Mm -hmm. Let's teleport like that. Okay. Works for me. Okay. And with uh, with these uh, scatter gunners, we will stand and aim, and we will try to actually standing and aiming. No. The clockatrices, we will just move here okay. and here. Well, basically there. No, 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 no. Okay. That's I'm going to crack the labyrinth. Yeah, yeah I, I, I just need to move the, the rest of the guys. I will just. Yeah, all good. All good. Because movement is now uh, defined in a way that. Uh, the guy moved, the rest teleport, and that everything there. Okay, this guy, this guy, the standard bearer doesn't have a weapon. And now here, like this, and then we, we will try to do some damage. Yep. Yeah, I'm okay. going to use. Um, well, maybe I don't actually need Labyrinth. Does that really well, uh, there, there, are, there will be not many models activating in your control. And yeah, I'm not going to do it. Right activate the stone, stones. I have a, a guy who is outside of your control. He can just go. I think okay. I'm all right. All right. Yeah. Okay, these guys uh, will move here. Uh, they have a, a hard job uh, in front of them. They need to spray these these do. The, the dudes, they are at five. They get plus one from the standard. They lose one from the Arcana, so they are still at five. And they need to spray these two, two dudes. Uh, the Grave Ghoul is pretty low defense, 12, I think. Um, I think he's 12. But yep. I have well. Star Cross, so it's going to be rough. So basically, okay. we will try, uh, spray the, the, so the Grave Ghoul. you need seven, right? I will need sevens with star cross. That's pretty insane. Let's let's try. Number five sprays these two dudes. Uh Grave Ghoul. Okay. Uh, uh that's, no, that's five. Uh tries and the one in the back. But uh, he's fourteen. He needs even more. Nope. Number three tries to spray these two two dudes uh like this. Grave ghoul. Uh nope. Uh we need a seven and the guy in the back. No. And number four, we'll try. Uh, I think if if I aim at the grave ghoul, then I will I will I just need the widget. Uh, just to see if I clip my own dude, because now the attachment is gone. Yep. You see? I hit these two dudes, but I also clip my own dude. So let's see. My own guy. Um, I guess I hit him with a seven. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would hit five. Yeah, I actually, actually rolled a seven on my own guy. Okay, grave goal. Uh, that's only a six. That's a miss. And the guy in the back. No, it's all misses, but I need to roll damage on my number five guy. I rolled a seven, but only on my own guy. That's. So, yep, he will roll tough. No, he will die, and the Grave Ghoul will okay. get his corpse. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. But they are... And they are not even in contesting range? Okay, we need to remedy that. Uh, 
Do we have the repo card? We don't have the repo card. What the hell is this list? Power swell, high alert. No, we don't have the repo card. We messed up. No, that's fine. That's fine. We will have to do something else. Hmm. This is bad. This is pretty bad. Good. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to roll the dice. I'm just pressing um, buttons. <laughs> we'll, we will play careful reconnaissance on the stone unit, and then they will just run. Okay. What does careful reconnaissance do? Uh, it gives them Pathfinder. Oh, OK, cool. Here and here, and then we'll just come in here and uh, be annoying oh. uh, just, just okay. to contest. Just to contest there, they will choose to let's let us have wow. plus one strength. Good. Now, what do we do? Plus one. Uh, is that guy? Oh no, that guy in the back is not a stone. That's the the support. That's the guy, attachment. Right? Yep, yep. Okay. He can, he can, he can. He gives me the auras. Stone strength, spirit chaser. All right. Okay, careful reconnaissance plus one strength. Okay, troll impaler will just uh, uh, walk here carefully. Uh, well, more carefully, but he cannot stay outside of. He will just stay here. He will boost an attack against your skin and moans. You are effectively plus one defense. What's his mat? mat so I'm at. 13 defense effectively. You have base 13. Or 14. Yeah, so 14. I need an 8 with star crossed. Let's try it. Are we boosted, so 4 dice. But it's a very poor roll. It will miss. And then we will buy and boost. We need an 8. We drop a 3, yeah. then we have 3, 2, 2. That's still a miss. So the impaler is done. He tried it. He didn't didn't succeed. These sluggers will just go here, here, oh. and is, here. Does something happen for leaving combat? Uh, I I lose my combat action. I just okay walk over there and contest that flag. And I think. So uh, you need to check that because the uh, Wanderer's premium ability is that one when, when he does the thing with the road markers. That's pretty amazing. Uh, oh, where everything gets a free inch move. Um, uh, is, is that on Labyrinth? I, I, yeah, I it's on Labyrinth. So you could pop it now if, if, if you like, for example, because not... Uh, because uh, for normal people, it just gives some minus speed. But with the Wanderer, uh, depending on your road markers, then you can one model can place three inches. And then uh, that can, for example, if something charges your beast, you can pop it and, and place it into safety or place your beast up. Uh, come on, that's pretty amazing. Oh, I see. Yeah. So they, is... they rework this pretty hard. Uh, it's not like before. And a model advances and is moving in the warlock's control range. That I triggered it now, triggered it before. That's all, all good. For one round, beginning uh, the activation minus two speed. That's fine. Yeah. And if your leader Question is wandering, have... uh, you can place one model completely within three inches of the current location for each roadmark. So you can place one model three inches. And that, that could be, for example, the skin and moans could be placed up. Yeah. And yeah. Let's you, do it then. If you place Go him for here, for example, then you can contest that piece of terrain, for example, there. And that's already a pretty pretty nice thing to do. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's go. If I do that, I'm contesting. Yeah, because you can you can see your uh, melee range, which which is a two inch bubble, and it oh. reaches the terrain. But you can right. also put put auras on your model so you can see uh, where you need to go. 
and uh, they are pretty much there. There we go. Okay, yeah, let's go for it. Contest that one. And this guy will just walk there and my turn is over. So basically now with scoring, I only scored these two. All right, I go to five and I contested everything else. Oh, so but... now you score on your point. So it's on the second time we score at the same time. And then at the next turn we score, or there we alternate scoring on our turns? No, no, we always score. I just contested everything you have uh, because uh, your flag terrain uh, here on the right is contested by these sluggers. Oh, the, the thing we in the middle the is every turn. Yep. Mm, okay, got and, it. Got it. Got and it. The, and the way it works that you only need a, a point difference of three, but the end of your opponent's turn. And now, if I I must pray that you will not be able to uh, come and contest. And now it's a three difference. At the end of your turn, I I'm in currently I I I could score two more to put me on seven. And if you don't score at least three on your side, then that could give me a scenario win. So you would need to uh, contest my things and start scoring your things. So it's a lot 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 of work to do. Hopefully, you oh wow, ma manage I it. might not be able to do that. Okay. Well, maybe you are because the skinamons can uh, uh, can maybe walk around and That's kind of what the, I was thinking. Kill the impaler with ease, and then he could probably stay here and contest both of those terrains because if you are there, I think, I think uh, you you are you are contesting both of those, the house and the water. That's already fine. Then I'm only scoring one, but then, and then you only need uh, to kill kill these dudes in in the middle, and then you can start scoring your own side, because Braylon is not contesting the the little horsey guys can kill these two sluggers, and the wanderer, the monkey, and everyone else can wipe out probably. Yeah. Uh, so now let's... at the beginning of the turn, Actually... your uh, clock clock trigger heals, and uh, regains yeah. the systems. Turn, I think, right. Or when on activation? No, it's uh, beginning oh, of control. Turn. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, he healed two. Perfect. Just enough to heal. The yeah, it it always heals. Well, sometimes if you lose two systems, sometimes you don't heal uh, it all. But okay, uh, we're gonna go up to full theory. Boop, boop, boop. Steal it from the skin and bones. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, let's. Start then, uh, and, and you can also use up. the road markers nice now prompt. if you want. Yeah, I think I'm going to let's jump up. What is the range on? It's 10. Oh, he's actually okay, kind of where he is. Um, can he shoot? No, he can't shoot in melee. Funny, okay. <laughs> uh, the stones they don't have a two inch melee, do they? The stones only have one inch melee, but not everyone has a weapon. The main guy doesn't have it. The other one has one inch. Okay, but so you then have, I'm out of combat have, if I go here. You have a pistol, oh. I think, on your spray, so you can... I do not. It. No? Nope. That's pretty bad. It is, but I'm going to go up here, and it keeps me fine anyway. Uh, and then I'm going to shoot... Uh, let's go the Impaler with Flare. Let's see if we can beat okay. this guy. That might you, be the best uh, play. So the Impaler is engaged, so his defense... Uh, oh, shoot! Hit. You do get that. Yeah, That's now right. sprays don't ignore melee. Only, only with oh, pistol for your, for your own Okay, melee. in that yeah. case, I'm going to use it on... Uh, oh, shoot. That actually makes this very different. Hmm. I'm not going to teleport with a road marker, because I would like to walk. Uh, so we're going to go like this, right? kind of like that, and we're going to spray, I think, this first section right here. This number two, number three, number four here in the middle? Yeah, yeah, we're going to spray them in the middle. Right. They are not engaged. The defense is 12. Okay. Um, for the first guy, we've got a uh, hit. Yep. For number two. 
number three, hit. Number four, uh, 12 is hit. So flare, flare, flare down the middle. Um, and I should probably do something else. Uh, we'll cast Starcrossed. Yeah. And then we're going to have to try maybe for something a little risky. It'd be kind of fun. Um, let's actually start with the May Slayers. Okay. So we're going to charge. All right. And then get us all in there. Yep. Uh, let's get it so we're all in on all of them. Be a better idea. Just in case. I have more than enough movement for that. We have Starcrossed okay. and Fog of War, right? Yeah. yeah Starcrossed and Fog. Okay. Um, let's do the first Nayslayer on the troll skin. Uh, what is their, their death? Yeah, 12 defense, 15 armor, or uh, no, 17 armor because they are in the stone. So uh, six to hit on with three dice because you are a cavalry charge. Uh, we hit the first one. Yep. We're attacking number three with number my yes. guy at the top. 16 is half to eight. Uh, you are, and then we'll uh, kill him. Seven. Yeah, that will wipe him out. I will roll a tough check. Nope. Uh, that guy, number three, is dead. Okay. okay. Um, next guy coming in. Uh, so guy in the middle against number two. Mm, hit. Uh, we'll hit. Tough check. Oh, no. Tough one. Uh, no. Second guy should auto kill then, I believe. Yeah. But let's see. So he'll hit automatically, uh, and then that'll be enough damage to deal one. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to go. Oh my God, I kind of think this through. Um, the hard part is I kind of need to clear out this little area here because I have to hold all three of mine, right? Uh, do you have baseline repo with the nay slayers? Uh, oh, I do oh. have reposition. That's a good I point. think you have you have it baseline, but you are already uh, scoring this thing, so I think you are good because you you can see. Uh, yeah, they do have it. I will take it uh, though, like this. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any sprays um, anymore, so. We're going to go, let's see, an 8-inch. Oh, and that's 8-inch, which would be pretty big. Oh, we're going to activate the Malady Man. Oh, actually, let's move our Krabbit first. I guess I've got the Krabbit. Let's do something with the Krabbit. Krabbit could kill uh, one of the stone guys because it's flared. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I think the Krabbit could come in and kill a stone, maybe. Um, let's no, try it. Not, armor 15 with Aura, so they are not too hard to kill. Woo! He'll uh, charge because he can here uh, with mm -hmm. the flare free. And what do we need to hit? I'm defense 10 with flare, so a 5, I think. You are mat 5, right? Yep. So, got a 10. We'll hit. All right. I'm armor, uh, armor 15. Um, that'll be charge 10. That'll kill. Oh. Yep, rolling tough, no tough, and you get the corpse with that guy. Sounds good. Okay, then we're going to go Malady Man. The Malady Man's got a 5. The, the Krabbit can actually buy two more attacks if you want, and... Uh... Oh, he can! I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, he has Fury too. Hmm. Yeah, the question is, do I need to, or do I want to? Um, I did get a point last turn for... Oh, no, I didn't contest that, right? I only had one guy over there. So. Uh, oh, who now? Okay. Um, did, did you, you had one point, right? Yeah. Uh, Are you at three? You, you oh, no, no, I three. didn't have one, right? Because you need at least two things to contest, I think you said. I contested in the middle, but I did not contest it. Oh, all right, right, right. I contested uh, that just the sluggers are not gone. Sure, sure, sure. I contested yeah. everything you. Yeah. It was so long ago, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's. Yeah, why not? Let's find an attack. Uh, let's find an attack and try to kill this stone guy again. 
Yep, uh, um, that that guy has defense 12, so you, you need a 7 to hit. You have corpses for some rerolls if you want, but maybe mm, that's... I think I'm okay. I'll pass on the reroll. I'm going to let the Kravit end. Or I'll go for one more by a second, one last attack. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see, we hit, and damage... Uh, you have power 8, right? Enough. Yep, so not enough. Yep. What's your defense right or your armor right now? Fifteen. They are thirteen 15. plus two. I need eight to ah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. Uh I'm gonna go for Malady Man. He's mm. gonna move. Um I think he has a five inch move. One, two, Six. three, four, five. Can I get him within two inches? That's the question. I don't think so. What happens Let's in see two what uh, contesting. Oh, right. Uh, um, do you have the re the repo card? I don't. I don't. I oh, don't. yeah, you have. I... You only have Arcana. I, I remember. Okay. Uh, but that's fine. I'm gonna do the monkey is extra strong thing. Okay, monkey is extra strong. I will roll tough um, on no. the first thing, and he will be done. Oh shoot! I forgot you have tough. Dang, that's good. That's, that's my plan. That's my plan. Yeah. Uh, well, I can only do so much. I kind of have to have luck here, I think, unfortunately. There, there, there is this accursed arcana. Do you, did you take Yeah, that I had to hope that you damaged either the corpse guy or the skin emote, but because you didn't damage it, it didn't happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, the, yes, my normally, role... yeah. But no, unfortunately, it was too not. hard to hit. It was impossible to hit. Um, okay, uh, but that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, Monkey will go for his time in the stars. All right. Oh, you're, you're uh, let's do it. Flare guy. That's easy start. Yep, hit flare guy to start. We got it. Yep. And he and... is uh, armor 16 with a stone. That and should be good. A... I believe I'm on four dice for the charge yes, yes. and yes. the wicked. Uh, ooh, I might have actually needed that. 16? Do I actually do enough on a 7? I don't think so, because the uh, monkey's I'm power I'm going to use a corpse. Ah, you cheater. There we go. Okay. Give me a tough. That should be enough, right? Let's roll some toughs. Haha, <laughs> I told ah, you. shoot. That might be game then. Dang, I didn't know you lost if you got 3 points. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that's the new steam roller. It's pretty good, but you, you, you need to contest the other side. Yeah. Well, uh, the clockatrice, uh, how fast can you make a clockatrice? If it runs yeah, that's up... what I, He really can't get faster. I can charge. So at the most, I could get... You could do a run for uh, 11 fly. inches. You can fly 11 inches, so you could fly to contest. True. No, I'm out of range on the contest. Not far enough. Yeah, I think so, right? Because one time. All right. Uh... Well, I think that's game. Good game. Uh, we'll see what I can do, but here, uh... yeah, that's too far away. Um, I'm just thinking if you can make it faster, but you cannot, right? Only you can make it charge nope. uh, further. The Skinamons can come and contest things. Yeah, but he's uh... got five, so he can actually only get to here. He can't contest both. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. All right, well, good game, I guess. That's kind yeah, of weird. That's, you, will, you will probably... Uh, yeah, yeah, because uh, the battle lines were there, and I was just sacrificing people to uh, contest. And, yeah. and then Braylon right. also did some work. But that's that's basically it. So the Brawl Machine scenario, this is a Brawl Machine scenario. They, they, uh, they are a bit strange, but they do the same logic as the normal Steam Roller. You need three points difference at the end of your uh, opponent's turn and uh, and they are a, a bit wacky and uh, the other but they are symmetrical and uh, I, I need to check the rules for for this one because sometimes you have uh, some elements but then depending on things you you remove some but i did not uh, read the document yet it's, it's linked in the same discord when we where we talk in the Bro, bro machine channel right yeah, that's all i good. think that all right well that's interesting 
So oh, we learned about that, uh, unit movement. We learned about sprays, uh, uh, about casters uh, casting and running. Um, what else? Uh, you also, when you're casting offensive sprays, uh, spells, you now cannot get any, uh, you cannot ignore the melee bonus. So if you go before, if you went uh, closer and you engaged with your own melee weapon, the thing you are casting at, you could cast more precise. Uh, you don't get the plus four defense. Now there's none of that. So uh, casting into melee is bad and uh, you cannot get around it. So mm. weapons, ha weapons right. have pistol icons, but spells don't. Okay. Good. Well, thanks for playing. It was, you know, it was, it was interesting. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I'll have to think about it for a while. Yeah, it's 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 different, but it's play it plays pretty fast. It's just uh, you you need to um, uh, know the scenarios as well, um, yeah. and how, how it works, and always uh, move. But that's 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 the same thing as before, but similar. It's just now the opponent cannot push you out and score a lot like before and win on his own turn. Now you always have some chances to uh, hit back, but you uh, you were simply too far away, uh, and that, that was the, the issue, I think. All right, uh, well, then uh, good night, and then we will meet soon, probably in the leagues, or not. <laughs> Sounds good. Have a good night. All right, good night. Bye-bye.